All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie a double egg loop knot for plunking with coon shrimp. So we have an arm's length, a 15 pound monofilament line. Then we have two size one owner octopus hooks. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take one end of your line and you're gonna pass it through the eyelid of the hook and you're only gonna go down that far and you're gonna pinch it with your thumb and pointer finger. You're gonna hold it there. And then with this part of the line, you're gonna wrap it around the shank of the hook eight times. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're gonna hold this line with your middle finger right here. And it's important to keep this tight so it doesn't come unraveled and then your knot's gonna be ruined if it comes unraveled. All right, you're gonna take the other end of your line and you're gonna pass it through the eyelid of the hook going the opposite direction that you came in. And then you're gonna take this line right here and you're gonna hold it with your thumb and pointer finger as well. So now you're holding two lines, your tag end and the rest of your line right there. And then with this line, you're gonna wrap it around the hook eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're gonna hold the line with your middle finger again, and then you're gonna wet your knot. It's very important to wet your knot so it doesn't burn. Now you're gonna pull your line through the eyelet. Keep the all those wraps tight. Don't let them unravel, because if it unravels, it'll ruin your knot and you'll have to retie. So you're gonna pull them all the way through to get here. I like to pinch all those ravelings so they don't come through. And you're just gonna slide it. And then you're gonna pull it tight. Make sure you pull really tight. Make sure your knot's good. And then you're gonna take your tag end. Tighten it all up so it doesn't come unraveled. All right, there's your bottom hook. Snip the tag end. Now we're gonna get started on our second hook. We're gonna come up to the end of our line right here and we're gonna slide the hook down the line all the way down to the bottom hook and then you're gonna line it up and you're gonna space it apart however much you want right now I'm gonna do like this much make sure this hook is flush with this one so they both hang flat like that and then you're gonna pinch those lines or that line with your pointer and thumb and you're gonna do the same thing on this one. You're gonna wrap this around eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna hold your line. You're gonna take the other end of your leader. And you're gonna pass it through the eye of the hook. And then you're gonna hold the line with your pointer and thumb again. Take this line and wrap it around eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab your line, wet your knot, pull tight. Keep those wrappings all tight. Once you get to the end, pinch it. So they don't come undone. You're just gonna pull it tight. Now you're it's gonna look at that. You're just gonna pull this tight. Get everything all tight and working. And there you go. And the importance of using the egg loop is you can push your line through right here. You can hook your coon shrimp right here and you wrap this line around the tail, pull it tight, and it'll keep your bait on. All right, now I'm gonna set up the spinning glow. And we're gonna need three beads and a spinning glow. So we're gonna take two beads. This is to space your spinning glow from your hook and be, let it be able to spin freely. Take two beads, slide it down your line, all the way down your hooks. And then you're gonna take your spinning glow, going from the bottom, slide this line through. Sometimes it's hard to get it to go through. There we go. Slide that all the way down. And because this river, there's a lot of weeds, you wanna use another bead on top because it'll deflect all the weeds and it won't get caught up in your spinning glow and it won't hurt the action, and there you go. You're gonna hook your coon shrimp here, and tie it on your three-way and you're fishing. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to rig a coon shrimp. So here, for steelhead, you're gonna want a medium to large size coon shrimp. This is home cured. You can get Washington coon shrimp. Those are really good. Um, Millennials are also really good. Looney coons, Nate's bait. Any coon shrimp really works, but 
home cured is always better. What you're gonna do is you can see all these segments of the tail. You're gonna go to the first one in between it. You're gonna go straight down and then you're gonna hook, start going down towards the head. And then you're gonna pop out right at the head as close to the center as you can get it. it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna look like that. And then you're gonna take your egg loop. This is why that egg loop is important. You're gonna open it up. You're gonna put your line around the coon shrimp's tail. You're gonna open it up, put it right in the middle of all those legs, and you're gonna pull it tight. Not all the way tight. You don't wanna cinch it closed and break off the tail and ruin it. You just wanna pull it tight enough where it's gonna keep it on there. And it's important to hook through the tail and the head so you get the tail meat and the head to hold it all together because if you just hook it through the tail and you cast, the head's gonna come flying off and your presentation's gonna be all weird. All right, so there. This is already scented up. I don't need to add any scent to it, but you can if you want. We're back behind you and you're gonna lob this. You're not gonna snap cast it because that'll just rip your bait. You're gonna lob it so it keeps it all together. Twist it. Then you're gonna lob it out. All right, there you go, now you're fishing. Now if you get a bite, that bell's gonna go off. You're gonna know, you're gonna run over, you're gonna grab your rod, reel down, set the hook, fish on.